Hi there, welcome to the Dreamkeeper channel. So I don't, I don't know if anybody's been missing this type of content, but, but I have. But I'm, like I say, I'm still <coughs> trying to build the channel, so because I want to stick with the kind of playlists that I've got now, and just add to them each week as I go. <coughs> uh, so this one will fall into the kind of theories category. Uh, even although it's, it's not really a theory, it's kind of proven, but it's interesting anyway, so I like talking about stuff like this. Uh, so this one's called The Trees Can Talk, and uh, what I mean by that is like trees and plants can communicate to each other through different, I think it's like chemical like signals and uh, like also like the roots underground and stuff. Uh, so it's... It, when I heard about it, because I've recent, I've always kind of thought that would be the case, like, but you never really think as it's talking to each other, but it basically is. So I heard about it recently, and it kind of reminded me, uh, what's that like Avatar, like the film with the all the trees are connected and the planet and stuff. So it's basically that's what what Earth's like, and uh, it kind of tied in because I've got been doing like research for a few other videos and uh, it kind of ties in with them like uh, is the earth uh, like a living being and the, the fungi computer uh, like the mushroom computer or whatever so keep an eye out for them because they'll be interesting as well but this one uh, like uh, like I was, I'll read some stuff out about it because it is quite cool but it did, it reminded me of Avatar and then it was tying into stuff for other things I was thinking about is the earth or connected, are we connected to the earth or this kind of thing so I'll read out what it says anyway because it's quite interesting <coughs> uh, so it says well it may sound like something out of uh, a science fiction novel, the idea that trees and plants communicate with each other isn't as far-fetched as it seems. In fact, scientists had discovered that trees and plants engage in complex forms of communication through underground networks of fungi known as, I'll murder saying this, mycorrhizae, mycorrhizae. These networks, often referred to as the wood wide web, uh, facilitate the exchange of nutrients, water and chemical signals between different plants and species. Through these fungal networks, trees and plants can share vital information about environmental changes such as drought or pest infections. For example, when a tree is under attack by insects, it can release chemical signals that are picked up by nearby plants in response, these plants may then increase their uh, production of defensive compounds to ward off the pests. Uh, this form of communication helps plants collectively defend against th threats and ensure their survival. Furthermore, trees and plants can also communicate through airborne chemicals. Uh, when, a, when a tree is damaged or injured, it releases volatile organic compounds into the air signalling neighbouring plants to prepare for potential threats. In this way, trees and plants are able to coordinate their response, responses to the environmental stressors and communicate effectively despite their uh, stationary nature. In essence, while trees and plants may not communicate in the same way humans do, they have evolved uh, sophi sophisticated mechanisms for sharing information and supporting each other and the complex ecosystems they inhabit. Understanding these forms of communication do not only deepen it not only deepens our appreciation for the interconnectedness of all living organ organisms, but also highlights the importance of preserving natural habitats and biodiversity. So that is something that fascinates me because I do believe that like we're all connected like to each other, to the planet, to the universe, like and like if it's all kinda like I suppose you could say like consciousness or like like electric signals or 
chemically, we're all like, in essence, like life is all connected kind of thing. And that's what I'm saying with a couple of other videos I'm going to make eh, in the future, like the, 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 like the fungus computer, it's a computer you can make out of fungus kind of thing. Eh, and what was the other one? Eh, the, is there for living being? Because to me it could be. And to me, it is really interesting, like, because we all, we always think, because we are, we think we're, we know it all and we're the best and we know everything, even though I would argue against that, because we seem to destroy the planet and stuff and even each other and even the environment and eh, all kind of stuff like that. So I think we don't really know, like, everything that we think we know. I think it's quite an arrogance for humans that to say that we know everything and that's that. But if you think about it, it, it is a bit like Avatar and that is it Pangea, the planet, when the, everybody's connected, like the, the avatars or whatever are connected to nature and they all plug into each other and they can all share information. And and it is kind of true here because like if, if the environment dies off, then we'll die off. If we die off, then can like cattle and animals and all that probably die off because we're not looking after them. So as it's all like a shared existence, like a, a shared existence, a connected existence. And I think it's the same with the planet. I think we're connected to the planet and stuff as well, and maybe even the universe. So to me, it's quite a, a really interesting theory. Yeah, well, it's not a, that's my theory, but it's, it's obviously. It's not. It's proven that the plants and that can all talk to each other. Plants and trees. So to me, it is. It's fascinating, and I love stuff like this because it pushes the boundaries of what we all believe and what we think we know. Because I think there is more to life and more to like existence and the planet than what we could ever maybe even understand or ever know. So it's good to push these boundaries. Uh, so that that will basically be that for this one. But uh, I've got a lot more of these kind of type of videos coming up. So if, if you like these kind of videos, uh, let me know in the comments. And if, if you're new to the channel, just give me a subscribe in that. I've really got targets. Uh, I need to get to the 500 subscribers, then 1,000, and then keep going kind of thing. Because uh, I've been looking, I've been making, uh, like, uh, researching content and stuff. So I've got lots planned out and stuff. Uh, and it'll hopefully be at least one video a week in that and I appreciate everybody that's been watching so far and subscribed in that does means a lot really appreciate it and helps me on this journey and uh, like I say I'll be working on the I've got the playlist set up so like I advise that you you watch the playlist I've even put the shorts into a playlist because I quite enjoy just watching the shorts as well it's like the longer content. So if you just take a break through the playlist, eh, and you'll find something you like. Eh? If, you, if you're here already, you, there's stuff here. It's just a, like, it's quite, I quite enjoy it. You can just put it on, play all, and just chill out and listen to the relaxing music or the meditation or the ASMR or even just like the theories and all that and stuff. I've got a few more dreams and visions coming up as well in the future. So, eh, but I'll leave it there, eh? So, that's basically, that's that anyway. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.